What's up guys, it's Sam with the Humble Outliers and today's video is all about fractional shares. We will cover what is fractional shares, why you should invest in fractional shares, how it can help you start investing with very little money, as little as $10 really, and what platforms you can use to invest in fractional shares today. But before we start, please smash that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate the support. Thank you. So I recently discovered fractional shares in 2019. I have always invested in traditional stocks and ETFs, meaning you buy whole shares of those stocks. But what intrigued me about fractional shares is how you can buy expensively priced stocks like Amazon, Google, Tesla, and etc. for very little money. What that means is that you can actually invest in these stocks with little risk and put your emotions in check since you're not dumping over 2000 a share for, say, Amazon and still get to diversify what you're investing and be a shareholder of the company and watch it grow. So let's get into it and discuss what it is and if you should invest in fractional shares. But before we begin, quick disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. This video is meant for entertainment purposes. Please do your own research. So a fractional share is defined as having one less full share of equity. This is a common result of from stock splits, dividend reinvestment plans, drips, or other similar corporate actions. While acquiring fractional shares have a value to them, they are difficult to sell until now. If you're familiar with cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, you know that at any time you can buy a fractional share of that coin, even when Bitcoin was at 19000 you could still buy into that with as much money as you wanted. And over time, you would eventually acquire a whole single Bitcoin. In a nutshell, that is what fractional shares investing is. It is to buy a portion, a fractional portion of a stock with your money. And that portion still benefits from the growth of that stock and dividend payout should it have it. You could easily build a dividend growth portfolio with M1 Finance with many of your favorite stocks, ETFs, or bonds that will continue to snowball and build over time. So let's go into a simple example from M1 Finance, the platform that I currently use for fractional shares investing. Let's say you had only $100 and you wanted to invest in Google, Apple, Tesla, Amazon, and Snapchat. Traditionally, if you wanted to invest in these five stocks, you'd have to buy a whole share of all those stocks individually, which would cost you over roughly at the time of this video, $4,741. But if you invest in these five stocks with M1 Finance at a set target weight of 20% a slice, it would be just $20 split five ways. M1 Finance calls this a pie, meaning that the stocks chosen in that collection is a slice, meaning each individual stock in that pie is a slice. You can think of this as a pizza analogy if it makes more sense. So here's an example of my portfolio holdings in M1 Finance. The value of the stocks and you can see the fractional portion of the stock. You can see some are very close to one whole share while others are much less. If you look here you can see that Ally Bank is the closest one to reaching one whole share. Um, Square as well. This also shows you the value of it, dollar value of those stocks so Google's in there with an average price at that cost price of 1435 it is up nearly 5% for the whole portfolio shows you your cost basis the unrealized gains now selling and buying a stock is very easy to do in M1 Finance all you have to do is go through here through your holdings or through your pie and select the, the stock individually follow through here click buy sell and from there you can initiate a sell order or a buy order of that individual stock. So you can need to buy more and add to the slice or you can start selling portions of that slice. So it's very easy to do. Since it's all based on just the dollar value of it and not the whole share, in, as in traditional stocks and ETFs selling and the order will execute during the next trade window set up by M1 Finance. The best thing about M1 Finance is that there are no commission fees for selling or buying fractional shares. You can also see here that Despite only owning a fractional portion of that share, you still receive dividends, a portion of that fraction of share. So this is a great way, like we were talking about earlier, it's a great way to build a dividend portfolio and let that build and continue to grow as a snowball effect. So there are many different brokers offering fractional shares. The most popular that comes to mind is M1 Finance, Robinhood, 
and recently Fidelity. I personally use M1 Finance. I have greatly enjoyed it so far. I find it very easy to learn and use. Adding money to it and invest is very fast after you pair it with your bank. The mobile and desktop platform make it easy and quick and easy to adjust your percentage targets and it's very pleasing visually to me. I've included a couple links down below to sign up if you use those links. We both get a little something extra and it helps support the channel. So that'll wrap up the video. Let me know if this video has helped you in any way. I wish you good fortune in your investing. Thanks for watching. Have a good one and stay humble outliers.